Atomite Mound. Okay. They also call it an ant hill, some other people. Mm. So Atomite Mound is one of those houses, big houses developed by the well sophisticated architectures. Tiny little insects. Mm. They built this thing big and they use their saliva and urine and droppings in order uh, to harden the outer layer of this house. So it can rain 80%. The rain is not going to dissolve it. It's very much hard. The social structure of this animal staying in here is called a caste. A caste is a social structure whereby you have got different departments. In fact, there is a division of labor. You have got the workers, you have got the soldiers, you have got the king, you have got the queen, and you've got the reproductives. What are the reproductives? The reproductives are those that you see during the rainy season, leaving these going to introduce their own colonies. So inside here, we have got the king and the queen who are residing by the royal chamber. A royal chamber is a highly respected area in here where those the senior authorities are staying in. So the temperature inside here, it can be 36 to 37 degrees Celsius. Oh. And if you look at that temperature, amount of temperature like that is equivalent to the normal body temperature. A termite mound it can be a very dangerous area for the snakes because the snakes, they are ectothenic, which means they cannot regulate their own body heat in order to survive against cold. Mm. They depend on radiant energy or energy from the sun for their survival. And if not, they will come and use these areas which are too warm for them to enjoy the warm temperature inside. So a termite mound, if you go down there and try to check what's happening, you will find that the male and the female, which is those ones that you normally see following each other after heavy rains. After rains, you will see the two following each other, wingless, those two, they go and find a nice hole, hide in there, and that is the beginning of every termite mound. 